Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to cover all the details of the brand new menu glitch, duplication glitch in versions 1.1.3 in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now before we get into today's episode, I do need to give a big shout out to Blaine's. He was the first content creator to cover this details and I believe it was someone over in his Discord that showed him how to do it. So Pokemon community as a whole coming through again and showing how busted these games are doesn't surprise me at all. But we do have the menu glitch back, it means if you have updated your game recently then you're gonna have access to be able to do this once again so first things first we need to hop over into game in this guide i'm going to show you exactly how you can do it for yourselves you want to be starting off in game in celestic town which is here on the map you can see where we are and you want to make your way west out to route 211 i believe it is and uh, once you're here make your way through this path here and you want to come to this area where there is this boulder and this is important because we're going to be using this boulder for this technique so the first thing you want to be doing is having the strength ability activated so just go up to the boulder click a uh, get your bibarel to uh, activate and strength will be active so now you can see if you just move the ball around you can see it's going to move around so that's the first step the next step is to have your pole catch app open you want to have the uh, hidden moves app open in the pole catch and you want to have your cursor over the fly option here in the menu so there is a couple of ways to do this but the way that i found most successful most using uh, is to hit a combination of buttons here what we're technically doing is going to push the boulder open in the pole catch at the same time and then once we've done that we can get into the map screen and see if we've got the glitch working so this is how i've done it i know some other guides and blends included and some other content creators have put guides up where you go the direction hit the r shoulder button at the same time and a and mash a at the same time but i found that you don't need to do that there is a bit of a simpler way to getting this activated so hopefully this helps you basically now we are standing to the left of the ball that we're going to be pushing it right so we're going to hit the right analog stick that's the direction that we're going to be hitting at the same time that we're doing that we're going to be hitting the r button as well on our controller so it's direction and r should bring up the map uh the the, the poke edge device you want to hit on this screen there's no need i've found for mashing a you just want to hit the fly and if you've done this right what you want to do now is don't hit anything else is just hit that right button and just hold it down on your controller like this and if you do it right you should hear the boulder move we haven't done it right there so what we'll do is try it again so we're going to hit the, the right direction and the r button again we'll do it and there you go you see we hit the the analog stick all the way to the right again just hold it down and what you're listening out for is the bowler moving now the boulder has moved there i'll just show you again that you can come out and you can see the boulders move we haven't actually moved as our character which is kind of strange so we'll move the boulder back and we'll do that again so basically what you're doing is you are there's no mash in here it's just getting the timing right between your direction that you're going you're pushing the boulder and the r button to get the pole catch up at the same time so we'll do it again right down and you can hear the boulder moving once again so we just hold it right down and as i say you can come out and you can see that the boulder has moved where your npc where your kind of player character hasn't moved at all which is kind of interesting the other thing to note is make sure before you start this is to have your music off in your settings just have it off because then it allows you to actually hear the boulder moving it's a lot easier to do with the method with the music off okay so we'll try it one more time i've shown you twice that the boulder does move when you're in the map you want to just hold that direction down and hit the r button at the same time come over to fly here and then you want to just go yeah you can see you hold the controller down the boulder will move and this is when you know you can do it so you want to just fly anywhere at this point we'll just fly celestic town and you want to do what we did in the old glitch to get the menu up on this screen is pressing a and then x to bring the the, the menu up before we fly somewhere so this stage you want to hit a and x and there's the menu and what you want to do from here is you want to just fly okay so you fly but now it's important you need to go into pokemon quickly and then go into the summary screen while you are flying this is the important bit you'll hear that you'll fly to the new location 
But when you come out at this point, you want to just exit out, you'll have the menu open. So this is the glitch activated. Now you can do all the things that you've been able to do before, uh, uh, duplicating items, duplicating Pokemon, uh, getting your you know items, money higher, whatever you want to do. So you've got access to all of that again. So just to reiterate, what you want to do is come into your Pokemon, uh, go into your boxes. The first Pokemon you want to do is, this is just a to, to clone things if you want, is just check the, uh, the summary, like hover over the screen, and then you want to press the X button on the screen, and then a new menu will pop up in here. You want to go into this one, go into the uh, the boxes again, and then you can kind of highlight these multi-select if you want, and then pull them across to the empty box. Just exit out of this one, uh, exit out of that menu, and then come into the check summary of the Pokemon that you're kind of initially on, and you can see that the boxes have been cloned. You can do that with any Pokemon, any items and things like that, as long as uh, you've got the menu um, option open the overlay you can see here that it is open on the uh, the overworld um, and when you want to finish with that just be out and then you're back to your normal game and you can see if I go into my boxes here uh, we'll still have the duplicated Pokemon here in four and then five and that is how you get the menu glitch open again in 1.1.3 1 .1 and just to show you that we have got um, the, the the most current version Let's see if I can do it I think it's plus isn't it uh, yeah, 1.1.3, you can see there. So um, we aren't doing it on an earlier version. You can do it on 1.1.3. So friends, I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. Again, if you're having difficulties with getting that glitch working, remember it's just the direction you're pushing the boulder with R simultaneously. It should bring the Poketch app up. Just go into the, 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 the map from there, fly, click fly, and then hold the same direction that you're pushing the boulder. Just hold your analog stick down and you should hear the boulder moving. If the boulder does move in that situation, then you can go fly, open the menu and do all that sort of stuff. Just make sure Please follow every step along the way in this video and remember that you're going into the summary screen of a Pokemon when you start that fly animation you really need to do that very important to get the menu open and um, make sure you save the game before you try this as well in case anything goes wrong uh, and you need to reset and you don't want to lose anything and that is about it if the boulder doesn't move of course that means the glitch hasn't activated you can't do the menu glitch over the top uh, the overlay uh, so just come out try that combination again direction in R button and and then that should get you going with the uh, the new menu glitch. So hope you found it useful, friends. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. We'll be back soon with more content on the channel. And until then, take care and bye-bye.